What is up YouTube knife community? Back again. Today we're going to be talking about some mods, obviously. Uh, first off, if you want to hit me up for some mod work, this is how you get in touch with me. Alright, so as you see we got five knives to talk about today. Uh, just going to blow through them. I just want to get them on camera, get it uploaded so the guys can see them and let me ship them out. First up, uh, we'll go over uh, the Manix and the Brower together. They go to the same customer. Uh, this is a Crewware Manix Smooth G10. Uh, the Knife Center exclusive, I'm pretty sure is what it was. It's got a 1500 grit edge. Acid X, stone wash the blade. Acid X and stone wash the liners, as you can see there. Um, heat anodized the hardware, the clip. All that good stuff. And this one has got a brass ball cage in it that I have patinaed. And then I hit the high spots with a buff with a buffing wheel. And uh, so they would shine a little bit and match the hardware. I love, absolutely love the way this knife came out. Uh, I chamfered all the edges, heavily chamfered. It's got a good smooth action. This is a super nice knife. Uh, Everything on this knife has been touched in one form or another. I think it came out smoking hot. Uh, Thomas, this is your knife. Uh, and then here's another one for Thomas right here. This is a Spyderco Brower. I just put out my like little review on this knife the other day. Uh, really nice little knife. It's uh, well, you can see my KME mark. I'll clean that up before I send it, Thomas. Uh, and another thing on this one. I don't really care much for, but I didn't really have an option. As you can see where I uh, mask off the uh, detent race right there. If I didn't do that, the action would suffer tremendously. And because it already stuck out past the scales, it shows up. I hope that's okay. If not, I can take it apart and re-etch it, but it's going to hurt your action a little bit. So I hope you're happy with it that way. Uh, let me know after you watch this, but... I heat anodized his MXG clip. It was just raw titanium stone washed. Uh, heat anodized that. These hard, uh, these screws were already, I mean, he supplied these screws. They were already with the knife. Uh, heat anodized the, uh, the lock bar insert. And then you're not going to be able to see it, but I acid etched and stone washed the liner on the inside there. It is nested. It's hard to see, but it, it has been acid etched and stone washed. Looks so much better, I think. Uh, I really like the way this knife came out, and I wouldn't mind to have one for myself. Uh, so if anybody's got one for trade, hit me up. So Thomas, there's your two knives, brother. I think both of them came out hot. I hope you uh, are happy with them as well. Next up, uh, we'll go over these two on the bottom right here. One of them you've seen several times. This is my Maximet Pair 3 that I just sold to the guy who uh, picked up this. I, I mean, he sent me this to mod. And what you got here is a Maximet PM2. Uh, dyed the scales. This is aquamarine, but it looks more like a denim, sort of, you know. But actually, this is denim on that gray. It's hard to see it, but this is denim blue on that gray. And this is aquamarine on that gray if you decide you want to uh die yours but i hate anodize the hardware uh obviously i acid etch and stone wash the liners if it'll focus acid etch and stone wash the blade put a 600 grit edge on it super sharp very nice knife uh there's your clip i also did the same thing did i uh Acid edge and stone wash it and then I heat anodize it to give it that like bronze battle worn look. Super hot. Uh, this knife is smooth, stupid smooth. Really love the way this knife came out. And uh, he's got this to match it. So he's got the Maximet Pair 2 and or PM2 and Pair 3 now that pretty much match. A little bit different tones on them, but I think they look smoking hot. Be an awesome combo. And the last up, this is a K390 PM2 sent to me by a good friend. Uh, but this this thing came out smoking hot, man. Uh, 
this blade finish is probably one of my favorite ones I've done yet. Really, really like that blade finish. Uh, so you got the same deal, smoke, uh, acid etched and stone washed. Actually, the the hardware on this one has been acid etched as well instead of uh, heat anodized. And then I heat anodized this MXG clip. Uh, knife came out smoking hot. It does have the heavily chamfered corners. It's not going to pick up real good, but they are chamfered. Really like the way this knife came out. I know he does because he's already seen pictures of it. But uh, yeah, so that's all I've got right here on these. Uh, if, if you guys are interested in any of these kinds of mods or any other mod work that I do, hit me up. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.